Hi guys, it's Jasmine from Study Quill. Today, I'll be giving you some tips on how to study for math and how to succeed in math exams. You may notice that there isn't any video footage and that this video kind of looks like a PowerPoint presentation. Well, this video is basically a revised and narrated version of my how to study math post on my blog. A lot of people have asked me for a video about advice on math so I thought that I would just convert the advice I already wrote into a video. First of all, you'll need to take good notes in class so you can study from them, obviously. Make sure you write down any key terms, facts, and formulas. If you can write while listening, copy down one or two examples that your teacher shows you. If you can't do those at once, pay attention to how your teacher does the problem and make sure you can understand their steps. It'll help you more to understand how the problem is done than it will to see the solution in your notes. If you have any questions in class, ask right away, because math usually builds upon previous knowledge, so it is important to have the first steps down before moving on. After class, if your teacher assigns homework problems, do them the day you learn the material. It'll help reinforce your memory while the content is fresh in your mind. I made a printable for studying to overcome the curve of forgetting, which will be linked in the description. To use it, first write down the topic and the date you learned about it. Then, review the material after each time interval that is listed on top of the chart. How do you review math, you might ask? Practice. Practice questions are your best friend. You can find some online by searching for your topic and practice problems. You'll also want to memorize key terms and formulas. I find that the best way to memorize formulas is to write them out each time I do a problem when I need them. Flashcards work well for key terms. If you want to get a deeper understanding of terms, you can also draw mind maps to show connections between concepts. If you really don't get something, ask someone for help. Ask your teacher if it's possible, but if they aren't available, you can ask friends or family who you know are knowledgeable about the subject. You can also use online resources like Khan Academy. I'll link some other math resources that can be found on my blog in the description. What should you do before a test? You should be reviewing every day using the curve of forgetting printable I mentioned earlier. But we can't all be on top of it all the time. The best time to start studying is at the beginning of the year but the second best time is now. Go through your notes and make a list of the topics that will be in the test. Then make a practice test. Your textbook most likely has practice questions for the end of a section, or you can find those questions for your topic online. Pick a couple random ones from each topic, copy paste them into a document, and print them out as a practice test. Set up everything in test condition. Nothing on your desk but a pencil and eraser, a silent room, and a timer set for however long your exam period is. Once you finish taking your mock exam, check your work against an answer key and mark it up with red pen. Check your work for the questions you got wrong. Take note of any kind of silly mistake you made and try to be careful of those in the future. If you're rusty with a topic or completely forgot it, Refer to the previous homework, notes, and examples you have, or ask for help. Now that you've studied, it's time for the exam. I have a general exam advice post, which I'll link in the description. If the test is multiple choice, use that to your advantage. For example, you can guess and check or eliminate solutions until you have just one left. Make sure you check your answers. This is essential. Please check your answers. Check every little bit of arithmetic because small errors are usually what throws you off. You can also check by doing the problem in reverse. For example, substitute your solution back in after solving an equation. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Monday and Friday and you can check out my blog in the description. See you next week.